What's up everyone? I am Jamie with Three Little Goats Homestead and we haven't been around for a while. We've kind of been working on some high priority projects and we didn't really film them because we just we wanted to get them done as quick as possible. So we are done with high priority project one, which means we can finally show you what we've been working on. I mentioned it in a previous video that we were doing some stuff with the well house well we completely rebuilt the well house and took it off grid so now we can have water when we don't have electricity which is a very nice thing to have so i'm going to take you over to the well house and show you what we've All done right, yeah. so we've been working on upgrading our well house for a few weeks now i don't think i've ever shown an actual picture of what it looked like before but it was basically just the well house components the pump it just had a box over it. it wasn't very pretty but it definitely was not functional at all i think the rodents and the insects liked it a lot more than anything else so we figured it was time for an upgrade so the first thing that we had to do was of course build a new well house from scratch so jesse actually built this in the shop in pieces and we brought it out here in pieces to put it up so it actually only took us about a day to actually get the building up and then another day to paint it and trim everything out so it wasn't that bad of a project but the great thing now is when we lose power we will still have water because that was our big thing when we had that huge storm a couple months ago we were out of power which meant that we were out of water which is the downside of being on a well so jesse fixed that problem too now, one of the great things that jesse did when he designed this well house was made it so if we ever have to work on the actual well if someone has to come out here our well it's really dark in there but the actual well pump is right in that corner he designed it so that we can just unscrew a couple screws on the inside of the well house and this entire roof will actually slide out so we can work on the well pump without having to take the entire building down or try to move it. All right, so inside of the actual well house, the RPS system that we got is a 3K system. So what that system comes with is the solar panels that are on the top of the roof as well as this inverter the solar disconnect and the battery bank which is what a 24 volt battery bank which is just enough for our well we have a half horsepower well if you have anything smaller than that or bigger than that you'll want to actually contact rps they're really great with their customer service and they can tell you exactly what you're going to need to run your well system now if i can find a picture of what it looked like before we put the new well house up this was just a big old hot mess there was literally just wires everywhere now we're lucky enough to have some really great friends that live down the road that helped us out with the electrical he is an electrician and randy is an absolute godsend when it came to getting all of this straightened out but rps was also really great because this is all new to us and so any questions that we would have we would call them or email them and they would get back to us pretty quickly. They even drew a pretty rough drawing of exactly how we needed to get everything wired up for our particular system, which was extremely helpful. Now with this system, we're actually running completely off of the solar right now, but if for some reason it gets really cloudy for a few days and we don't have the sun, it'll automatically kick on to the grid and vice versa. If we're running off of the grid and for some reason the power goes out, it'll automatically switch over to the solar. So it's very little that we have to do to switch between both of them because it does it itself which is really great for me who doesn't know a whole lot about these things and then very worst case scenario if we don't have power and it's just overcast for days on end we can actually unplug this cord right here and plug it directly into a generator so the generator can charge those batteries so we have the backup and a contingency backup which is that's really kind of great. why we haven't really been around for the last few weeks this has been priority number one is getting all of this done now some things have definitely changed around here which we'll go into it in another video like example a you guys already know Snooky, but she's new to the farm but that'll be in another video 
But for now, we are done with the well house so we can start working on 99%. some... 99%. Oh, 99% done with the well house. Jesse still has to go in and, I guess, make it pretty inside. But for the most part, it's done. So if we lose power, grid power, we will still at least have water to the house, which is a very nice luxury to have. All right, y'all, so that was pretty much it for this week. We wanted to get this video out just so we can kind of get back onto our normal every Friday upload schedule. Now that we've got that project done, we can start taking care of the animals. The goats have been moved back to their prospective pins because hopefully they're all bred. We'll be ultrasounding them soon and doing blood tests soon. So if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for some more goat stuff. And of course, an introduction to some of the new animals that we've gotten this month. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.